What's, What's up, up all you freaks, freaks and geeks, geeks of the world? Hi, <laughs> Brian. <laughs> it's your very sex mother, and I'm back with another video. And today I have my grandpa with me. Don't ask why he's my grandpa because it's a very long story and we're not going to explain it because you just don't understand. If you don't understand, you don't understand. She might put it in the description. You know, fuck around, throw it down. That's there. a long description. Just throw it in there. Fuck it. Okay. S-E-X. Learn about sex. S-E-X. <laughs> Learn about sex. <laughs> See, you got friends who support you. Oh, God. But... Today, we're going to be asking each other questions from a his or her perspective. I asked you guys my question on Twitter, and Brian came up with some questions on his own. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to this video. Make sure you follow him on all of his social media. It'll be listed down, down below. Down somewhere, you know. Make sure you follow me yeah. on my social media because, you know, this is my channel. Support a nigga. Period, boo. And so, we're going to get to this video, and yeah. Why don't guys ask girls to be their girlfriend anymore? Ooh. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, That's crazy. Like, yeah. why don't y'all ask? Probably because these hoes, I mean, because ah! females be like giving up all the girlfriend privileges without nothing. Like, you could righteously start talking to a girl, y'all only be like a month in of actually like just knowing each other. Y'all doing everything, y'all kicking it, y'all fucking. And what you what you need to make her your girlfriend for? Especially if like you really not fucking with her like that. Like, some females be cool, but they don't be couple. So, mm. and you already getting all the benefits, so shit, what the, why would I, why, 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 why would I come? So my first question is, why do females prefer guys to like be assholes uh, rather than like nice guys? You feel me? You might want to ask that question again, because this motherfucker slammed the door. Hey, it ain't got nothing to do with me. Um... Because assholes be underline like with an asshole, he has an underlying soft spot for mm -hmm. that one person. But if you just an all around softy, it's like when am I gonna see your roughneckness? When am I gonna see you like wanna beat somebody up? When am I gonna see you like like when am I gonna see that? I'm a, I'm never gonna see that. I'd rather have a dude that's always on go where it's just like, oh you looking at me funny? Fight me then. Rather than have a guy that's just like. Yo, why he keeps staring at me? Like, <laughs> but maybe that's a generation thing because you know our parents back in their generation, chivalry was like number one. Like the guy had to come inside and speak to the father and shake everybody's hand before you can go on the first date. Like now it's like you can't meet my mom or my dad until I know for sure you're gonna be in my life forever. So that's just this. The, everybody the generations are weird, so that's where the issues like that come in. What does a vagina feel like? Dry versus wet. <laughs> what does a dry vagina feel like? And what does a wet vagina feel like? Well, I ain't gonna, I don't think you should ever be in a dry vagina because if y'all are having sex, that means y'all are like turned on. So she shouldn't be dry. But, but like a <laughs> wet one. All right, I'm gonna try to describe it as best I can. <laughs> so, in my description of it, Okay. In my description of it, I feel like <laughs> it's different types of wet too. Like, so you got water wet, where it's like, <laughs> like legit, like that's just just flowing, like it's just like it has the consistency of water. And then you but got water, the, like literal, like it's just like you know the vagina creates mucus and all that good stuff. Yeah, it's just like real smooth. And then you got the other kind that's like kind of like mucus and it's like creamy and dense. Well, not creamy, but like it's denser. So it's like you know, mm. you got that. You know, you know it when you know it. You know? <laughs> but like the feel of it in general is like a tunnel, but like a soft tunnel. <laughs> so like you know how a tunnel. If you go inside of a beanbag chair, you know what I'm saying. Ooh. Like when you sit in it, how it like you know wraps around you. Yeah. But just imagine it being able to wrap around your like your whole body, and it's heated. Oh. And it's like. Well, it'd be wet too, obviously. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, like, but that's just one kind. It's like a couple different kinds. You got some that's like real comfy, like real soft, and it just holds you. Yeah. And you got some that's like real strict, and it's like the, the walls might not expand a whole lot, but it go real. You can go on uh, down that road, old town road type joint. You can just go on in but there. But if the walls don't expand, then can you really go down the road? Yeah, you can go in it. It just. 
it don't rip the same. Like it's just firm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it ain't okay. like a expanding. Like you could, you know, stretch out in there and chill. It's more like, oh. okay, let me just go on, get up in this thing real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Why do females never know what they want to eat? DeAndre. <laughs> Why are you calling that man? Because he, he cusses me out every day about that. <laughs> Brian asks, Why don't females know what they want to eat? That's a good question. <laughs> yeah, like, because it's like, for me, I have an indecisive stomach because it's like, guys. Y'all eat the same thing and we'll be okay with it. Like, y'all will eat a burger and be cool. If y'all say y'all want chicken, y'all eat chicken, cool. But with, like, girls, it's like, what am I going to have on the burger? Is it going to be a cheeseburger, a bacon cheeseburger, or is it just a regular burger? If we going to get chicken, are we getting fried chicken? Are we getting baked chicken? Are we getting the whole chicken? Are we getting chicken tenders? Are we getting chicken wings, chicken legs, chicken drums like what are we getting yeah. if we're going to get a salad are we getting a big old salad or are we just getting a regular salad and then there's just so many options of food because like you eat the wrong thing i know for me i'm gonna say for me if i eat the wrong thing my stomach gonna be upset and i'm gonna be upset and then i'm gonna be pooping and farting and sh everywhere yeah, yeah, so i gotta like control all that so if i can't if i don't eat what i crave then that's a problem but if i cook then i can eat that because I can eat my cooking any day, but if we go out to eat, that's where it's like, uh. Do guys know when they are fuckboys? And if so, what is the early stage of a fuckboy? Or what are fuckboy tendencies? Oh, yeah. Niggas, who, people be knowing. Guys know. Like, we might just go, oh, you know, I got a couple females. But, like, if you're conscious of your activities and, like, you know what you're doing is, like, negatively infect, affecting shorty, like, like, if all of your joints is tripping on you, you, you know, you might gonna be yeah. a, a fuck boy. But, guys be trying to act like they don't be doing nothing. Like, they just be tripping, dog. Like, like if you got seven females on the team, you kind of, you, you you're probably a fuck boy. You know what I'm saying? Or, like, you stringing shorty along because you don't want nobody else to get at her. You might be a fuck boy. Just, just. No, for real, like, they just be doing a lot. Like, if you only hit shorty up when you want to fuck. Okay. Like, she well, should let, not, not yeah, not like if she, yeah, you know, and if she think y'all in a relationship and you like, oh no, I only hear her when I'm trying to slide, like, yeah, it's kind of. Then that's really shawty just being stupid. Well, if you lead her on in that manner, then yeah. Like, you know, some dudes be selling dreams, prison dreams, so to speak. Like, oh, you know, we're going to get together, baby. You know, I'm just out here, you know, I'm messed up right now. Or I'm not in a good head space. They be trying to act like they got, you know, uh, mental health issues. Not like that they're crazy, but like, you know, they be like, you know, my mental health ain't right. And they're like, you know, I'm just going through some stuff. But I do mess with you. And they just be stringing them along. And that ain't cool. Bro, niggas be tripping, though. Bitches, too. <sighs> All right. So, my question is, do you think it is essential for, like, a dude that you're dating to, like, know how to, like, change a tire or, like, change oil on your car? Not your car, but a car in general. Yeah. Because I know how to work a car. I know how to change my own oil. I know how to change my tire. I know how to... Now, if you sit there and ask me to be, like, break apart this engine... And put it next to the alternator and build a car. Hell no, I can't do that. But if I can, you know, put a sink together or if I can build a wall or. Can you put a sink together? I can fix a sink, yeah. Oh, that's what's up. I ain't gonna do it. Oh, yeah, I'm mechanically inclined now. But if I'm like stranded, I ain't gonna be no dumb bitch where I'm just out there and I'm just stuck and I have to rely on either the police or a uh, ram. Not, definitely not them. Not, I'm not relying on 12. Are you still in this car? Can you look, now you down. Now I'm bad. Exactly. So if I know all that stuff, then yeah, he definitely gotta. You gotta know more than me. Would you rather nut in someone's mouth or in their vagina? And why do you pick one or the other? Which one feels better? You know that that video from uh, the, the the court. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> wait, something got a little the crazy. Girl, the girl that was like, "When was the last time I was together?" Today. <laughs> oh yeah. That bro, um, she was stupid. Ooh, which one? What would I rather do? The mouth or the vagina, and why? Probably the vagina. I ain't even gonna lie to you, dog. Why? Just because when you like, 
when you having sex with somebody like you could trust and y'all like like y'all really fucking who has time to pull out like you in there like you gotta finish strong that's like you running the marathon you stop at the finish all right i'm good you just walk off to the side along the ribbon no i'm crossing that ribbon baby first place you know what i'm saying i'm crossing that ribbon <laughs> actually i don't even believe like when we having sex well, if i can't trust you we don't need to be having sex period like no you trust that every girl that you had sex with yeah 99.9 <laughs> And if I didn't I strapped up dog period you know Oh duh. Yeah that's what I'm saying if I, if I You had more condom sex than raw sex? Do you think like cooking and cleaning is like a gender stereotype that like should be like pushed onto like the woman or is it like a skill that you think like both parties should have? I feel like both. Because I mean women nowadays do just as much work me uh what the f are you trying to say Selena? <laughs> Women nowadays do just as much work as a man does, if not more. So then it's just like, I don't need to be the one coming home every day, cooking and cleaning and all this other kind of stuff. And you just doing like simple household manly, like taking out the trash or um, what's something that's like a man is supposed to do. Um, well, not supposed to do, well, but you know, it's like a gender stereotype that is based on yeah, like whatever. Taking out the trash is probably like the best one. Like that's that's the main thing that when it comes to taking out the trash, though, I feel like if a man does it, it's understandable if he's taking it out like at night. Yeah, because you know it's nighttime. But if it's like the sun's still up and there's nothing going on, like if the trash full, babe, don't take out the trash. No, I'll take it out. Like it's not that deep. Or if my sink is full of dishes, he'll wash the dishes and I won't have to go and tell him to do that. Or <laughs> he'll cook, I'll cook. Or how we work is like whoever cooks, the other person washes dishes. I feel like that's more so fair because then it just creates a balance. If your homeboy or your friend is a rapey kind of guy, or if he's like a molester, whatever the case may be, what would you do to him as a friend? Cause it's like a lot of niggas out here be really on some pedophile, molestation type stuff and it's like where are y'all friends like do y'all friends know y'all do this kind of stuff and if so what do y'all friends be saying or they what are you be doing Whew. all right so this is like a touchy thing for me like because i like you know like not even on a like religiously i you know all sin is supposed to be the same but i genuinely i feel like rapists are like the worst shit ever like i yeah. like all my feet because i have a lot of female friends y'all probably if y'all know me y'all know and that's like the worst thing I feel like ever. So if one of my homeboys was really on like some rapey stuff, cause like me and my friends like joke around, but like we know like we all believe in like consent and all that shit. But if mm -hmm. niggas really on that, Sweet. I'm not <laughs> you like at all. Like I will cut you the <laughs> my life if I don't beat your ass first. <laughs> like no, you, right, so you might first. get both. You know what I'm saying? You might fight because yeah. I just I don't get on with that. Cause like one, I love women too much. Like just in the sense that like. That's, I just love y'all. Like, <laughs> I just love y'all. I can't even explain it. Like, and like, I'm every woman in my life. Like, I'm real like overprotective. So like, hence why I'm his granddaughter. There's some dogs out here that like can catch these hands. It's some Trust. Dogs can catch these hands. <laughs> so no, any dude around me, he be on some stuff like that. Like, I can't like at all. And if you if you thinking about it, don't be friends with me no more. Block me, cause look, <laughs> if I find out, we got it. It's an issue, dog, for real. <laughs> Have you ever tried to give a nigga all day pussy? Mm -hmm. Do you need <laughs> <laughs> all day? Hell yeah! Okay, if y'all don't know what all day pussy is, it's like you you've been out all day and then you come home or like you just get off work and then like you don't take a shower and then you try to like have sex. Yeah, cause we're gonna take that all day shower. No, Do a I real ain't. scrub. I'm just I don't know. You know I'm real. I mean, I don't. I guess I probably have gotten some all day pussy, definitely. But like, but if I know you've been at work, I'll it be depends all right now, baby. on how, what I but, did all day. But you, you work sitting like you work inside, like a, a female yeah. that, that work, work like not work, work, but like work where you like moving back and forth all day. You getting in the shower, dog? I ain't. I'm oh sorry. yeah. Well, like if like, I'm working out, like if I worked out and stuff like that, and then I come home and I want to have sex, I definitely take a shower. Right. But if I've been at one of my two jobs, or if I've been at both of my jobs all day. Both of my jobs require me to sit down yeah. and just be like, okay. Nah, I ain't going for it, baby. When you ask this question, nah. are you talking about, are you referring to like my, my nigga or are you just referring to like just somebody I'm smashing? Probably your nigga then. That's what I... Okay, my nigga, I have respect for him to clean it because I'm pretty sure I want to 
I don't want it to be quickie and I don't want him to put nothing funky in his face. Not saying that my funky with like a, a any well, I mean if you've been all day like everybody know like your joint ain't gonna be as fresh as if you just got out of the shower yeah the but like if you was just a guy that i was just smashing on like a just it's, yeah you might just be like it's like like when might you just, i will like, <laughs> you're a sick nigga. why do guys cheat on girls even if the girl does everything perfect that was my last question Okay, well. Like, you could have a perfect girlfriend. She doesn't bother you all the time. She lets you play the game. Every time you come home, you come home to a nice cooked meal. You come home to a clean house. She do everything right. Excuse me, your family like her. Your friends like her. But niggas still cheat. Why? Well, I ain't had that yet, so I wouldn't know. But <laughs> um, what I will say is... Like, every I like one of your exes before... Anyways, I liked one too. <laughs> Ooh, but uh, I Thanks say come back. no. Um, everybody's not meant for everybody. Like you can do everything perfect for somebody, and if y'all are not meant to be together, it's not gonna work. Like y'all just not compatible. Or that person is not feeling you because, like, I believe in soulmates. Like you might be perfect or not. You know, nobody's perfect, but you might be great. Mm -hmm. But if you're not that person's soulmate or who they feel like they are meant to be with. They can't help it. And then just because somebody shit on you don't mean like they don't like you or like love you or nothing like that. It's just. You don't respect me. They might lack self-control. Because you can love somebody that, but if you can't control yourself. Like people who do act off impulses. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just like that. Boom. Damn. I fuck, fuck this hoe. Damn. My bad. But you wouldn't have like. Cause you gotta think like it be like you wouldn't have me on your mind like when it's happening like as a person is approaching you and you see that it's leading on to other stuff you wouldn't think like damn i got somebody else like or oh, i got my girl at home or i shouldn't be doing this because but when i say impulse they don't think about the consequences <laughs> or like that like stuff like that they they acted on like what they're doing right then and there so it's like damn this feels good i want to keep doing it mm -hmm. not like oh damn this feels good but damn i got a shorty at the house that's good, but I know she ain't the one for me, so I'm still gonna do what I wanna do. You never cheated before? Not with my actual girlfriend. Like when I was like, I don't. I feel like when you. Mm, but date, see, I only I only consider I, somebody that if it's, it's I was only okay. cheating if it's your girlfriend. Oh, well then no, because I ain't not. Uh, if well, it okay, ain't a, a situation ship, a situation or not in my adult life, high school. Yeah, I probably did, but I was a little. I don't know, I cheated. Yeah, but also, I'm not going to say high school relationships don't count. They I'm don't. Like only one high school relationship counts. Like that one, that real, everybody know that one high school person yeah. that they dated. I cheated on him. So my, the next question, what kind of wine is this, dog? It's Ooh. called Lucky Duck. Okay, that's crazy. I usually drink like White Zippendale. You know what I'm saying? That's my favorite. I'm telling you, y'all should try it. That joint puts you to sleep. I usually drink Stella. Rosé? Yeah, we got that. Or Stella Ross or whatever. We got the black one. And that's why I asked you if you wanted a red one or a white one. And when you was like, you ain't care. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm actually glad you gave me this one. Because I don't like like red, red wine. Uh, well, sweet red is good. Yeah, I'm fucking with that one. Oh, yeah. I drink sweet red. I drink anything Scotty. Or that Jamaican wine. Or Jamaican. It's like, this is like a brand. I never I had, had Jamaican you. wine. It's not like, the name of it is like Jamaican something, something. I just can't remember. Jamaican it's, me crazy. Shut up. <laughs> but I'm telling y'all, I got a long ass neck. Oh, I swallowed it. I'm leaving. I'm done. Let's go. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make uh, sure you okay. like, comment, subscribe. Make right. sure you follow Brian on all of his social media. Make sure you follow me on all of my social media. Um, don't DM him because I will cuss you out because I'm overprotective of my grandpa. Slide, baby, slide. No, don't. You miss 100% of the shots. You don't shoot.